Oh, real quick, look at my dino feet. My dino feet. It's so cozy. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm actually gonna do a hair tutorial with you guys. I got this in the mail. It's a three-in-one hot airbrush. Um, it's actually from Amazon. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably link it down below on the description. But um, I wanted to go ahead and just try it out with you guys. This is literally first impressions on this. I haven't even tried it yet. I was supposed to try it yesterday and put it on IG, but I end up actually stepping out the house with family. And um, we don't get a lot of that, to be honest. So I really took advantage of that, especially for my girls. Um, they Go ahead and do a video for you guys on that. So that way you guys know the process. If you deal with a lot of dryness in your hair. I don't know, winter just really did it for me. Uh, the dryness in the hair and the scalp, uh, the skin. There is these two products that I started using during the winter time because of my skin and it's made a dramatic difference. I mean, it was so bad my face was breaking out. Like, I was getting a rash all through my the dry areas of my face, which are usually my forehead and my T-zone area. My forehead is my T-zone area. My T-zone area and sometimes like right here on my cheek. So those products actually helped me a lot. It's literally just two products. So um, I'll go ahead and link them down below as well. And I'll... Um, me with the ums. I'm over it. If you don't follow me on IG, just go ahead and follow me. I'll go ahead and link it on the screen. Of course, I always do. But they send it to me so I could give an honest review on Amazon. So let's go ahead and try it out. And the thing is, is I honestly wanted the Revlon one. I wanted to try the Revlon one. And then uh, they reached out to me about this, and I was like, you know what? Let's try it out. Sometimes you never know. All right, so let's pull it out. I guess it's supposed to be beautiful out here, and that's why, like, this morning I woke up, I was like, oh, full sun. It's gorgeous out. Lighting is going to be amazing. And then, of course, I mean, lighting is still good. I'm not complaining. But I didn't want to have to turn on my ring light. And now I'm like, what is up with the sun? It looks like it's going in and out. So it's probably partly cloudy today. This is my first time trying something out after four to five years using the same blow dryer. So I bought this on Amazon as well. So L'Oreal's Paris Sleek It Iron Straight Heat Spray. I'll link it down below as well because I don't know how much it is. I don't remember. I think it was like six dollars, eight dollars, six to eight dollars. 450 degrees protection. And I used it yesterday because my hair was like needed a wash. And I I think I uh I used my waiver yesterday. I used my waiver yesterday, so I was like, well, let me try it out. I love the way it smells. So let's see. But I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on. So you have high, low, and cool. Oh. Oh, that's like full power right there. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and part my hair. See, my hair is like, stop straightening me. <laughs> um, I like to get enough where I'll get the front as well. There you go. I don't like perfect my parting. Like, ain't nobody got time for that. I'm just gonna part it where I can get to where I need to get for my hair. So I'm gonna add some spray. This is my first time using one of these, so I don't know. Um, see, my professional blow dryer, I probably would have already did this whole side. And it was a professional blow dryer, so I can't really compare the two. This is not pro. Um, but I'm not a fan of the brush. I usually use a round brush due to my curly hair. It kind of feels like it's like tugging on my hair. 
and it does have a cooling spot so that's probably what the cool spot is right here it's not a it's I forgot what it's called it's they call it something yeah the cool tip so this cool tip actually does help to hold it because if you see I'm like I feel like I'm tugging on my hair but if you look at my ends they look really shiny so I really the ions on here really do work on that part Two hours later. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this video while I do the rest of my hair and we'll see the results at the end. But as of right now, it's okay. It is it is taking me longer than usual. I feel like I'm probably not doing something right because I usually get more of a fuller round, like more of a curl at the end when I do my regular blow dryer with the brush. But like I said, it's also how wide the brush is. So probably for like thinner hair, it would be awesome if they had this a little smaller, like different versions of, of how wide it is. But yeah, let's go ahead and finish the hair and see what it looks like. So I think what it is too is these bristles are real, like I feel like they'll bend easy. You know, having curly hair, it kind of tugs more on the brush. So definitely the bristles are a little too soft. Because I mean, it has the thick bristles in there too. See? But these ones, I feel like they just bend very easily. But if you see, I'm starting to get more of that wave to it i think what i would do is i would personally i think blow dry my whole hair and then probably the top area i would give it more of a wave or i would probably blow dry my whole hair and then if it's still a little frizzy just grab this and give it more of a wave and see how it turns out And it's still not picking up the wave I like. It's looking more flat, like too straight. I'm not one to have my hair too straight. But, yeah. I think this is going to be the best part using this because I can really get into it and really give it that wave. But for my whole hair, I'm not a fan of, to be honest. Like I said, I have to definitely learn to, say it to give it more of a wave with all the other areas. But you see, this is, see, for the bangs, oh man, I'm loving it for the bangs. It makes it real voluminous. You see? But, like I said, I might have to just learn to play with it more for the rest part, the rest of my hair. So that's what it is. You got to kind of use it like if you're curling your hair and do away from the face. It's just different with a brush because I hold the blow dryer and I just use this hand for the brush and really work it in. But I guess because this is literally all in one, it's hard for me to like manage it more to give it like that nice curl or that nice wave. But I hope you guys like this video. Give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel and let me know in your comments below what you think.